And I gotta say, Newstead, they can listen at least because they did start sharing those goals around and everybody had one by the end of that match. They worked hard to get Darish that last one there. And all had a piece of the winning pie there. Appian now actually Dealers Knights the first opportunity out of the game so far. A big miss there. Might be able to let them set up a second one as well. This is important for them to get on board and if they can do it early, they've got a chance of coming back into this series. Yes, they do, but unfortunately <laughs> for them, uh, the Chief is just done it once again, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the replay here. The first touch there and he just leaves all to his own devices. And well, the defenders just very, very unfortunate not to get to the ball. So, once again, Chief with an early goal, and that will be Musa once again with the early win. You know what? That was my bad. I'm just gonna. I, it was too much pressure. I put too much pressure on them. Now, peasant Chifu, a second goal as well. The pressure is still on. What have I done to this team? <laughs> you've given them the models. That's what you've done, Gex. As uh, yeah, peasant Chifu just unmarked from the kickoff, and he found himself in a good spot to just nail it down the line. So, yeah, an easy one for a minute as we go to O up for Newstead, and well. A little bit of confidence slowly seeping in here for De La South. You team bumps, however, it doesn't really help the cause, but they are slowly starting to bring the ball a bit more forward here. They are going for the opportunities, and there we go. O Games just comes in from on high, taps it down on the half volley, gets it through, and that will be the first goal here for this green side De La South. Yeah, a big important goal there does bring them to within one goal of Newstead as well. So not too uneven a goal line for a comeback here. However, they're going to have to work hard after the display of the first game. It's so good to see them getting onto that. A, a decent pass to make it happen as well. And another opportunity straight off the bat here. Blocked away, but actually was a very nice shot there. Yeah, it was a nice shot, but uh, well, same as you also said, Jack. So this will just allow Newstead to go back onto the attack here. But Troy mainly loses it. But look who picks it up in the backfield. It is... Peasant Shaker, who has uh, dominated from these plays starting in the clock well, towards the, uh, his own goal. He sets one up now into the center for a teammate that wants to go for it here. Troy doesn't take his time, but he can only bump up the gun off the play. Gershman Gaming follows through here, now the 1v1 against Oak Games, and while well, Oak Games just unable to get to the ball, not positioning there from Gershman to get the goal, and that will be a 3 to 1 scoreline now for this step. Darish actually positioned that really well in goal. That shot was targeted perfectly. However, the uh, player was actually facing the wrong direction in goal there. If he'd sent it left, there was absolutely no chance of that going in. It was far more of the goal behind the player than in front, which is a mistake you can't make in goal at this level. Newstead now up by two again, a good position for them, but not quite as dominant as we saw in game one where they were already at this position less than a minute into the game. Yeah, me and well for this then uh we will be trying to just keep this going as Shifu actually gets a very good touch there off the defender. Does bring it to the back ball but not close to the net here. Troy does follow through those sets oh. up for Shifu but have a very nice save there to deny Shifu a second hat trick in the series. But Troy's now going to try and look, to try and set something up once again. Ball just dribbling in front of the net. There's a sheep who can't get to it in time, so he has to go for the corner. But he sets it up tight line. Duncan Garner, though, easy save for him there. Just clears it into the corner to get past halfway point here. The LaSalle starting to show a bit of life here, but there we go. Pedro Sheep eventually threads the needle, gets the final touch on the roof, and he finally gets his second hat trick. And we talked about players being a class, uh, teams being classed above, but how about players, Peasant Shifu, the mechanics to get to that, the pre-flip in reverse there, absolutely brilliant stuff out of Shifu, really, really showing up tonight. Yeah, indeed, and well, he, at this point, he's looking like he might just be the uh, MVP of the stream here, so let's see how the other two games go in that regard, but for now, it's looking like Nusad will be cruising into a 2 0 win here and 2-0 in the uh, regional stage as well as time ticks away plus two minute mark here four to one lead for Newstead and well there are have definitely been improvements for 
Dorsal in this second game, but it just hasn't been enough to for vet for really just for like the cheaper and uh well yeah uh it just seems like you said uh he, he just might be in the class above as uh, oh, oh no, no. He hates it. Yeah, not what you want to see out of the DLS Knights. It is a best of three, so this goal could be the one that absolutely confirms them leaving this series, and it's not the way you want to see it. The own goal coming out there from Oat. He does have one goal on his own side, but now he's got one on the other as well, so uh, unfortunate for the Knights, and I'm sure they would have been looking for more. Shifu, the mechanics coming out here. Unbelievable, and gets the final dunk to send it into net. Cool, that is... This is just turning into a masterclass shift as a sheep for really showcasing his mechanics and his ability to throw a net. So I know he's good saves as well, and it's just led into what has been a pretty pretty good dominating performance here as uh, we get the double fake out here at the uh, kickoff, which we do love to see, but eventually the ball's tapped away into the sheep who's going to try and pick it up once again. Maybe look for another fifer, can't keep control. Just Carries it in to the corner, bumps it to his own teammate, and uh, well, this could just be looking good for a, another Brazil denial here. But and they just walk it through. Okay, an opportunity, but the triple commit will block him off. Dirigman can't keep good enough control to clear it out here. Pen and has to go up. He does get into the corner, up and now big boost obtained. Can he carry it through? No, he can't. And uh, we are have been instructed to choose a uh, player for, of the uh, series for each of these series tonight as well. So, player of the game I think is going to be clear on this one. With 30 yeah. seconds left, can the DLS Knights hold off Newstead from getting that 7-1 though? It looks like they might be able to. A nice high clear from up here as he goes in for another one. Comes off the backboard. Duncan has to go early. Not quite early enough. It gets sent away by Dayrish, doesn't Shifu under this again, but with a bit of a lackluster touch there, which is actually a little bit surprising from him at this point in time. It will come to the ground with one second left. There is an opportunity, it will reach the ground and they will be denied their Brazil. Yeah, very unfortunate. 